This video is brought to you by Squarespace, a platform perfect for creating your own website. Stay tuned to hear more. Click. Oh my god. Hello, everyone. Wait, did I even make my bed? Should I make my bed? Does this matter? I don't think so. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are vlogging a day in my life because um, I have a lot to do today. I'm doing like a lot of business stuff today. Whoa, the sun just literally disappeared that's crazy i got the most exciting package i already opened it i'm so sorry i wanted to open it with you guys but i was too excited i'm getting back into preparing some stickers and some stuff for my shop lately because that's just like where i'm shifting my focus right now i always try to balance everything in my life whether that be like art and business and youtube and all this stuff but i always shift back and forth so right now i have a big shipment of stickers and i wanted to unbox it with you guys basically even though I've already kind of looked at them. I was designing these a little while ago and I took longer than I should have to submit the files to my manufacturers. I'm getting keychains made, I'm getting stickers made, um, I'm getting a bunch of stuff made, but I made a sticker sheet and I am so excited. So I got this package the other, oh my gosh, the box is literally falling apart. I got this package the other day and it has some single stickers and also the sticker sheets. Let's look at the single stickers first because I want to build up to it, right? These are all like little holographic guys. So as you can see, we got the bunny in there. This is my series of little bunnies. They all do have names, but I kind of forgot them. This one is flower bun or flower bond, if you will but this is what these look like. So these are gonna be my original designs, but also with a holographic color. Oh, we have more bunnies. This one is Candy Bun. Candy Bun, I think I named them Bonds actually. Super cute. And then this one is Clover Bon because it's a bit more green and stuff, but I'm gonna open these up because they're all like holographic. So they're super cute and I was so excited to get these. I always like have a hard time envisioning what my products are gonna look like once they're actually manufactured, which actually reminds me, I need to submit other files today as well. So I wanted to do a sticker pack as well as a sticker sheet, which is why I have these individual because also the sticker sheet doesn't have these this big. Neither are they holographic, but oh my god, it looks like Neapolitan bunnies a little bit. I think they're so cute. I'm really happy with how they came out. I did the holographic part so that their eyes are sparkly. I don't know how well you can tell. Hopefully you can tell on camera. I think these guys are super cute. And along with the bunnies, I also have some hammies. Of course I have hammies. So we have, these hammies don't have names yet, but I've been watching a lot of Bluey lately, and this guy reminds me of Pom Pom. I actually didn't even meet the character Pom Pom until like a day or two ago, because I, I watched it through TikTok basically, and I can never scroll past one of those. Yeah, this guy kind of looks like Pom Pom, which is super funny. It's just a white little hammy, but it's fluffy. And I just wanted to kind of revamp the hammies that I've been having. And this is the other one. So it's kind of like this and they're so cute. And so these are the sticker pieces that we have for this week, which I'm so excited about. The sun keeps coming and going back and forth. So I'm sorry if the lighting keeps changing. Hopefully it's fine. We have the most exciting parts and I don't even think you're ready for this. Look how many sticker sheets I have. Look how many. Are you ready to see them? Oh my gosh. Look how absolutely cute. So this is one of the first big sticker sheets that I've designed that I like the design of because my last few sticker sheets, I don't necessarily love a couple of them. So um, typically what I do though, is that like, if I don't love a design, I'll just sell them. And then once they're gone, I'm just not gonna restock them. But these look so cute. Oh my gosh, the sun's coming back. I'm so excited for me. <gasps> Yes, they are so pretty. I am so happy with how these came out. They're all the same, obviously. These are so cute and so exciting. And I am just so happy about them. And I'm gonna have these designs manufactured into some other stuff too. But this is just what I got in the mail recently. And I'm just so excited. I think they look so great. OMG. 
I'm so happy with these. I think these turned out like exactly how I wanted them to. So now I have these and I have the bunnies and I'm gonna be updating my website today on these. I'm Part of me is preparing for some conventions that are coming up that I still don't know if I'm gonna be a part of or not. And then the other part of me is just doing these because I want to. I'm going to be taking some pictures of these today. I'm gonna put them on my website. Uh, so you guys can come along with me for that process as well. And I wanna pack a couple of these into sticker packs not only so that I have them for the photos, but also so that just so I can see what they look like because I'm kind of excited. I also have some hammy stickers I still haven't put on my website and a lot of the photos I want to update. So we're going to set up a little, little set today and we're going to take some photos as well. That's going to be exciting for today. I'm very happy about that because I haven't really been happy with the state of my website for a little bit, which is why I haven't really been updating it. But well, I got my Pongo because Pongo is typically my desk when I'm in my bed. I got my laptop. I just want to talk about my old website and how the journey has been because I know a lot of people have questions about like how to start your own business and stuff and today's video is actually sponsored by Squarespace which is the platform that I use to make my own websites I have two websites I have a portfolio website for applying for conventions and things like that job applications or whatever and then I also have a website for my shop which you guys all know and I'll link that down in the description box below if you guys don't know what Squarespace is Squarespace is a platform Platform perfect for creating your own website. It is so easy to use. It's been what I've been using. Squarespace has been a lifesaver when it comes to making my own website because it makes it so incredibly simple and I am not the best at these things. This is what my website currently looks like with some of the new photos that we took today. I think it looks great. And if you guys want to build your own website, I would highly recommend them because they've made it so easy with amazing templates and their great commerce tools that have the greatest profit margins that I've seen so far. I used to use third-party platforms to sell my art online, but I would highly recommend Squarespace instead because they really increase your profits and I was able to make my own website with Squarespace and then link it to my other website so that they're both connected so please head to squarespace.com forward slash Tiffany Wang to try it out and use my code Tiffany Wang for a discount off your first purchase of a website or a domain and I could not thank Squarespace enough because you guys know I've been running my own shop off of Squarespace for like six months close to a year I think I don't know something like that but I'm gonna get all of my photos on here I'm so excited. Nice thing about having Apple laptops, you get to just airdrop stuff. I'm just going to big time drag and drop all these photos and I'm going to update a lot of my photos so that my website can be pink because before I had it as green and pink and it doesn't necessarily like bother me that it was green and pink but it wasn't my favorite and I'd really rather it just be completely pink now just because that's more of my color scheme so I'm gonna go through and just change it and Squarespace makes it so easy for you to change your photos. Okay so I'm gonna set up a little set to take pictures. Typically I take pictures outside but I guess I could do that today actually. What's the temperature? I just like don't want to. No, I'm not going to because like it's everything's gonna blow away. So we're gonna take pictures inside. I'm cleaning off my desk right now and we're gonna make a little set inside so that I can do this. Okay, so I'm gathering all the stuff I need. We have some individual stickers. We have these guys. I'm gonna make some sticker packs first. Oh wow, I have like none of these left. Okay. So one, two, three. We're just gonna do three of these. And then I think the hammies are gonna go in the back or I kind of want the white one to be in the front. These are the things I think about when I <laughs> package these. And then of course I'm running out of my tiny guys again. So I have to find some, here they are. Got some of these, so this one goes here. I need to open up some more of these. And then one for photos. These guys, one, two, three. And the black ones go first. One, two, three. The pink ones. I need to restock on my business cards actually because I almost have like none. So I'm gonna need to probably do that today to be honest one two three you know what i'll keep an extra one out because i think i'm gonna put it on something and then these guys one two three and also the hammy stickers which i never stocked on my website so i'm gonna find all those i have four of them and I'm gonna do that today. I actually recently reorganized all of my packages. So I kind of have a couple of 
that I'm just out and about. So we'll have three of these guys as well. So I think the order would be like this. One, two, three, four. And I showed these in a past video too, but I don't remember if you guys saw those. This one goes in the front actually. So one, two, three, four. I basically just organized these in an order that I think would look the best. These guys are next. These are so cute. I love this one, especially. Like, do you see? These are the ones that I have on the back of my phone case right now, and they're super cute. And then these babies. So one, two, three, four, woohoo. So the sleeves that I use have sparkles on one side, so I'm going to do one sparkly and two non-sparkly for these. Go. I'm very excited to be restocking my website because it's been a minute. It could really use the work. And after I take these photos, I'm gonna be able to have my website be looking brand new. So now we have everything sleeved up and I'm just going to put on the little top pieces. Okay, so these are the new sticker packs that are going to be in stock. We have the fish mouth ones as well as the new bunny ones. And then of course I'm going to be packaging these individual sheets as well and putting them on the site. So now it's time to take some photos. Very exciting. Gotta get all this stuff out of the way. I actually have, I actually have two that I could use and I think we're gonna use, should we use both or should we? Not really a big difference if we use both. I think we'll just use this bigger one because it's a bit easier. So I'm just going to kind of pull it apart a bit to give it some texture because that's how I like to do my photos. That looks great. And now we're just gonna lay out the stuff and take photos. I take all my pictures with my iPhone camera. So very simple, very easy. I'm just gonna, you know, take photos like this and then I'm gonna edit them. So time to pose some little items. I think it's gonna look good. I'm gonna start with the sticker sheet. The nice thing about this tablecloth is that I can make the surface area so much bigger if I have to for these bigger items like this. guys we can get a nice little family shot taken in there it's a nice thing about stickers is that like they're so poseable do them like however you want there we go oh my gosh so cute Are you kidding me look at this photo they're so cute now I have all these guys. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. I'm not gonna sell this sheet, obviously. This will just be my personal sheet, but I also have zero use for them right now. So I'm going to put these back until I have a reason to use them. But yeah, this one will be mine for sure. I wouldn't sell this because I've taken all of them off. Wow, it was like a little puzzle putting them all back. Nice. Now moving on to the sets. Finally got these guys situated. These are so hard to take pictures of because they're holographic. But now we're gonna do the fishy mouth ones. So exciting, OMG. And I'm also gonna be retaking some of my old photos so that they can all be more kind of put together because they started looking a little bit bad on my website. So I'm gonna be updating that as well. Oh, wow. This is a very good layout. This one looks super good. I could theoretically take these pictures on my camera too, but it's just so much less work editing them on my phone. Wow, they're so cute. Okay, we are back on my bed. The sun is still a little crazy. I got a bunch of good photos. I'm quite happy with how everything turned out. I have to edit these though, obviously. So I'm gonna sit on my phone and edit these, but do you guys wanna see how? I guess I can show you how I edit these. It's not very complicated, 
but I did figure out over the past year of running my business and taking Instagram pictures and taking Instagram a little bit more seriously, even though I've been on a bit of a hiatus, I did learn how to color correct properly for my tastes. I'm gonna show you how I do it. This is an exclusive look into how I edit my photos. Okay, so basically, the first thing I do is make sure it's in a square format, obviously, and then I'm going to change the setting to vivid just so that the colors pop a bit more. And then in this section, I'm gonna go to contrast and I turn the contrast down to give it more of like a, it makes the pinks look better and it looks a bit more bubblegummy, I guess. And then the brightness, I usually turn up and then I don't really mess with anything else too much. The tint, I will turn this way to make it more pink. And then if it's if the pinks are too, uh, let's say orange, then I will turn the warmth down, but that's pretty much how I do it. You can adjust the contrast. The contrast definitely makes a big difference. That is mostly what I do. So it takes photos from this to this, and it just looks a lot better in my opinion. But yeah, that's how I do it. And I'm gonna go through all these photos and do that now. This one. This one's so cute. Whoa, I think I'm gonna get these on my laptop now. Also, while I'm working, I also have a thumbnail I have to do today. This one should be super easy because I have a good thumbnail picture. Typically it gets harder and harder the worse the thumbnail pictures are, but they're pretty good ones. So I'm quite excited. It's just gonna be the second part of my Moomin vlogs. We're gonna finish that up real quick. So yeah, day in the life of content creation today. We're just doing so many things. I'm sleepy. <laughs> drop this one photo to myself. So this is last week's. I'm low key gonna just insert a photo right over it though. This is gonna be this week's. And this way I just have the same aspects, but I think I'm just gonna just write some words. I'm gonna write Moomin Valley. And I hate doing M's cause I feel like they always look kind of weird. So you gotta get them kind of symmetrical. I have phases of like how I like to do my thumbnails. And my current phase is that I don't want to do the little backsplash basically, but sometimes I like really want to do the backsplash. So obviously I can resize this text and stuff too if I need to, which I do because this second part is a little bit bigger. I think that's good. And then I'm gonna write valley. My A's also always look kind of weird. I think that one came out okay. Maybe I'll just resize it to be a little bit smaller. Sometimes as I'm writing, I just have a tendency to start getting bigger and bigger. As you can see, these L's can be elevated. I feel like I don't even have anything else to write in this thumbnail. I'll just write part two. P-A-R. Oh, I almost wrote party. LOL. That's why this P is a little too close and this whole thing is a little bit too big. Do, 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 do. Nice. Part two. And I think we're gonna just add some hearts. Do, 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 do. Wow, this one was really easy. <laughs> I think I'm gonna make the text just a little bit smaller so that it doesn't feel too crowded in here. I wanna put something down here, but I don't even know what to put really. I guess I could write something. We'll do this. I'm gonna make it smaller. I think we'll put it over here. It just doesn't feel super invasive that way. And I think we're pretty much done. I can just add a few little details. Little cheek guys. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. Lighten some of these so that they're not as aggressive. I feel like they're a little bright. I wanted to go in and just add some little sparkles. I think we're done with this thumbnail. So this is what it looks like and i'm going to just get it ready to be posted okay so i just finished my website i feel like it looks so much better now i'm very happy with how it came out i think it looks a lot fresher a lot cleaner i don't know if it looks brighter because i feel like the colors are always bright but i have someone that i want you guys to meet she's a little shy so please be kind but i am so excited oh my gosh so you guys know that the hammies have moved into my room semi-recently. Well, Hammy's actually moved out because we have a new tenant. I wanted to have her in my room by herself so she wasn't too stressed. I've been keeping an eye on her because she's super brand new. I want to introduce you guys to someone. So, hello and welcome. I am so excited to, ooh, to introduce a new baby. 
She is so cute. So her name, originally when I saw her at the pet store, I nicknamed her Hammy Mei Mei, which basically, I don't really know how to explain it. Mei Mei means like little sister in Chinese or just like little, little girl basically. And so we called her Hammy Mei Mei for a long time. And then me and my mom could not stop thinking about her. So we went to go pick her up and she's been here for a little bit now, but I think her official name is gonna be Banana Muffin. So this is Banana Muffin, the Hemi. She's super cute. She's got some items in her cheeks today and she's a Syrian hamster. I don't get Syrian hamsters typically. Typically all my Hemis are dwarf hamsters. She's just so cute and she's a long haired Hemi. I'm really hoping that her coat will stay very nice and soft. She's still really young right now so I don't know if her coat is gonna get longer and if anyone has Syrian hamsters that have long coats and have any tips, please let me know in the comments. I've been trying to do my research but unfortunately with a lot of hammies there's just not that much information out there about them so i've been trying to figure out like there's like a good diet for them to be on to encourage her growth or anything like that because she came with some wispies she doesn't quite have them as much anymore i'm not sure why that is but as you can see she's very active today typically she'll sit in my hand and just not move what if i just there we go we got her a little bit still i think she keeps going because i let her keep going here she is little banana hello She's super, super cute, but she is still a little skittish. And so I've been working on trying to get her socialized so that she doesn't turn into a nasty hammy. It's been taking a little bit of work, but she's been very cute, very, very kind. And she hasn't, she hasn't nipped. She doesn't even nip, which is really surprising, but I'm super excited for you guys to meet her because she is so incredibly cute. Hello. Hello, Miss Banana. My little pink girl. So her whole cage is going to be pink. Hello! Hello, Miss Hammy. So I'm so excited for you guys to meet her. We now have three. Oh, ah! She's a new addition to the family. Hopefully she gets well acclimated soon. She's already been fitting in pretty well. So she's been doing pretty good. But as you can see, her coat is super cute and fluffy. She's so fluffy. Can you get off my arm, please? She is super fluffy and I love that. And she has little wispies coming in, as you can see on her little, on her little bootay. She's got some fluffs going on, but this is our new friend friend and i hope you guys all love her and welcome her so she's been living in my room she still gets a little scared when i first got her she was so jumpy she would like jump out of your hand but she's gotten a little bit better but we'll give her some more time so she's been out for a good amount today so i'm gonna go ahead and put her back yeah that's our new friend and i'm so excited so i'm really happy that she's here i think that's it for today's vlog because i think we've done everything we need to do so we updated the website super exciting and we also got a thumbnail done edited some photos photos. I think, I think that's good. Um, that's pretty much all I have planned for today. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, for hanging out. I will see you guys in the next video and that um, celebration video will be coming soon. It's just going to take me a little bit of time to get to it, but yeah, stay hydrated, take a nap. I will see you guys when I see you guys. Bye everyone.